Hello, welcome to somewhat of a different video. Um, if you saw my quarter hunt, I did get a full box of the Dr. Mary Edwards Walker quarters. Um, these are 2024. I'm gonna, these, these uh, six rolls are kind of not wrapped very well, so I'm gonna crack into these and do a search. I'm gonna do this a little bit different. Um, I do have plenty of these. I don't, I'm gonna, I'm selling some on eBay, but if you would like some for a little bit cheaper than that, then I'm listing them on eBay. Shoot me an email. Um, I've got plenty of these, so I will um, make you a, we can make a better deal there. If you would like some for your collection, some to hunt through, what have you. Um, so do reach out and let me know if you want a few of these rolls. Um, all right, so for this uh, video, I'm going to, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna crack into um, one of these rolls, and then uh, I'm going to switch to my microscope, and and uh, then I'll search through. We'll do a, a microscope hunt type thing, a little bit different type of video than I usually do. Um, but we're gonna look for any um, errors or varieties on these, and uh, I'll probably do one roll on the microscope, and then go through the rest of the six and just jump in and show you anything I find in those as well. So that way the video doesn't get super long because hunting one roll can take a little bit. And if you just want to skip the head through the um, microscope hunt and skip to the end and see what uh, what I found, that is fine too. So, all right, well, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, let's get into this and uh, we'll see what we got in here. Intro, take 473. Q music. Q coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. All right. So we're going to start off and I'm going to crack one of these here and then we'll switch over to the microscope and um, you can see these were not wrapped very well. Um, they were wrapped far down in the paper there so they should all be brand new 2024 because that's all it's showing on all the rolls and as you can see there those are some nice shiny brand new edges there so let's pull those out and then i'll flip through a couple of these on camera but uh then i'll just uh, let you know after afterwards um, if there's any major if I come across any major um, mint errors or what have you I will let you know for sure but otherwise um, we will go to the uh, microscope um, I'm going to look for doubling in the 2024 over in Godry Rust on the ear there has been some 2024s found with that and then um, how the stuff is mended most of the doubling should be in the center, but we are finding doubling out in other areas too on the quarters. So I'm going to give a good, nice look at the quarters here in the microscope. So what I'm looking here for is any type of major error, major issue with the coins. Do they flip the right way? And so far they do. They should flip um, this way. We should have a coin flip so bottom to top it should flip exactly like that um, but to keep them on camera it's hard for me to flip, the, flip them that way so I'm just flipping them like this and as long as one side's upside down and I turn it this way and one side's right side up then that is correct um, I'm not seeing anything there's a little gunk there on that one it could possibly be a little bit of uh, grease but I'm not sure I'll just set that aside and check that one under the scope We'll see that here in a minute. All right, I'm not seeing anything major going on with these. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip through these rest off camera and I'll switch over to the microscope and we will do a nice close up uh, search for any new errors, varieties, anything that's not listed. Cause these are, I believe these are the brand new quarters that just came out. Um, so that is what we're going to do. Here we go, we're gonna check these out. So we're gonna check for the doubling on the date. Um, you can, some of the women's quarters here have doubling above the two here and on the other stuff. And as well as on the mint marker a little bit. 
Some of them have a doubled ear. And then some of them, it's, uh, these are some newer finds. It looks like there is some doubling, especially on the D. You can see a little bit of an extra D, but God we trust is doubled. Um, we're just going to give a good look at the whole quarter here. And we're going to check out everything there. I don't see anything going on with offers. We're going to check the reverse. Um, looks like there might be some. I'm using my fingers to add shadows and places so I can get a good look. Because the, uh, the screen likes to um, see if you look, it it's brightens up, but as soon as I get the quarter on there, it darkens down. So it's hard to see sometimes, especially on pennies. It is terrible. It just corrects the lighting too much. Um, I wish it would correct less or if none at all, I can adjust it myself, but it does, does that by itself and there's no settings I can change for that. Okay, so it's okay. So that's what they look like normally. And uh, we'll go on to the next one. There's the date. I'm not seeing anything there. But I wish I could make this just a little bit brighter. Let's see if I. Not seeing anything there. Let's check out Liberty. And the eyeball for doubling, anything going on with the face, anything going on with the ear. Nope, I'm not seeing anything going on. I didn't see anything major, no um, cuts, no die breaks or anything like that. So I'm just giving these a good look around here, looking for anything that looks out of the ordinary. You can see there's a little bit of extra um, down here at the bottom. That's because these letters are raised, and so that's just how the light's hitting it. Because being raised, they're going to have a, th a three-dimensional look to them. The light's going to hit differently in different spots. But metal, nothing going on with the metal. Nothing going on with metal on her shirt. Nothing with her face. Nothing with her hair. Yep. Okay, so that one looks normal as well. Well, let's look at this one here. This is one that has that little gunk on the side there. Right there. Um, that's maybe a little bit of grease. You can see those little tiny specks in there. Uh, look like an orange brown specks. Those could be uh, copper flakes of copper. Some 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 of the nickel clad cover, and then some of the copper from the in, inside the core there. That might be just a tiny bit of a grease strike through there that uh, with retained grease but I'm not seeing any doubling anywhere let's check out the ear nothing going on there um, so I'll just set this aside as a possible it is small and minor but you know always interesting to find um, not seeing any type of doubling anywhere nothing going on with the reverse there so that's what we're gonna do here if you would like to hang out with me as I look through these, you're more than welcome to be my guest. If you would like to skip ahead, I should have hopefully put chapters up for skipping to the end. We'll go just go over what we find in all of these roles. Um, and again, I'm only going to record looking at one of one of these roles. Those little dings up there, um, here, and here. That is reading from another coin there. That too, most likely. Looks like a uh, lighter ding that didn't dig in as much as those do. But that's uh, reading from another coin that hit it. Because as these are minted, they go down a chute into a big old tub. And so the coins can hit each other pretty good. And then from that tub, they get put in bags or rolls or whatever. And get sent out to wherever they go for uh, rolling into rolls or to the banks or, su or such so they can get out to circulation. 
so far nothing on this roll here. All right, we are five coins in. And there's 40 coins total. So I'm really checking out everything, giving a good look there. Um, some people find this very enjoyable. I used to find it more enjoyable than I do nowadays. Um, I, with just being as busy as I am, I'm just sitting here thinking, oh, I could be doing so many other things, and it just kind of weighs on my mind a little bit. So let's see if I can get it to brighten up a little bit and get a good bright view of that 2024 for a second. Now it looks normal. That L is that LGF was the designer. Um, the initials there are raised as well. Again, not seeing anything going on. Look at the eye or something. Oh. Um, those lights don't really help much. They just kind of add some weird reflections. So, all right, next coin. Took too long on that coin. <laughs> That little, that little uh, spot right there, it is very minor right there. That might be a little bit of a strike through, could be a little bit of a scratch. Just looking at it, let me get some shadow on it there. Um, just how it looks, it could be either kind of looks like a small, very tiny strike through of a, could be a bristle from a wire or something, a short little piece of the bristle. Because they use a wire wheel to polish out the dyes and stuff. And that helps remove some of the dings and dents and scratches and, and stuff that they get. Oh, we have a die chip right here. I don't know if I've missed any of those, but there's a tiny little die chip right there. So that is a another find. And if you look up here, some dark right here. That could be a little bit of that grease as well that we were looking at earlier. That's just a thin layer. I don't want to take that off if it is grease. Um, but here, let's see if I can get a better light on it. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of the grease there. And it falls down onto the rim. So we'll put that up here as a, a possible coin find there. It did have a die chip there. Oh, here we go. Here's another one with die chip. Did I miss that on any of the others? I don't remember seeing it, but it's possible I missed it. There is some rim dings there through between of and honor. Let's see. So that little die chip between cents, the C and E and cents. Um, I don't know if it's going to be common, but because most of the time when you get rolls, you're, you're getting uh, coins from whatever bin and that they all fell in. It could be from two or three different die pairings, die combinations. So sometimes you might get a different obverse and reverse die, um, or you might get coins from just two or three different obverses and reverses there. So they might have different things. See, this one does not have a die chip there. Um, so if you do get uh, nice new rolls, or a nice new roll, or, or several of them that are new from the bank, uh, you could just look into a streak of coins with similar issues that may be scarce, but they, they strike up. Um, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of coins with the same dies, unless there's a major issue with the die and they catch it. Um, so there could be, you could just be getting a batch of those because, you know, they take all the ones out of their bin and then they wrap them up. And uh, I'm rambling just to try to add some talk to this <laughs> search here. See, that T right there, you see how the lighting is on the bottom? Um, I'm pretty sure that's just how the light's hitting it, how the 
raised surfaces. It's hitting the the area there, but it does look interesting in the lights. So it's always catching my eye. Let's see. Um, I don't know how long I've been recording now, but we're about three dollars in. So if I don't find anything of importance in these rolls, I might cut some of this out just to save a little time. So if there is a little stuff cut out, um, just just to save some time on the video. I don't know if y'all are interested in sitting here with me or not. So um, because this is a little bit of a different type of video. And being a brand new coin, there's not a lot to look for. Look at that. Oh, it has a weird little um, notch in it right there. That is interesting. I don't remember seeing that on any other coin. Could be, could be just a ding, a well-placed ding there that caused the metal to shift a little bit. Could be um, a die issue that caused that. I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled for any others. Did I look at back at this one? I think I did. Just going to give it a quick glance here. All right, here's another one. This O has it too. Maybe that is just how the dies were produced. With that weird little notch in that O there. Well, look here on the, it's kind of hard to see, but let me see if I can get bright a little bit. Right here on the bridge of the nose, there's a tiny little die crack. Very, very tiny. Uh, that's one of the places on these women's quarters that you can find die chips and stuff. And uh, they start off as little tiny die cracks there. So these quarters um, may have more die chips located. Here we go. We got die chip in the C here and a little bit on the end of the E they're forming. So this is a different die state than the other ones we had. This one's probably a later die state from the other ones that had just the die chip in the C. Um, but yeah, there have been a lot of those die chips on the noses on and in the mouse of previous years coins. So that's just spots that have lots of chips. And here we go. Here's one with just one die chip in between the C and E. So we're back to the earlier die state. So as the dies are used, to get back to my thought there, as the dies are used, you know, you're putting metal between metal and, and uh, giving it a squish. So <laughs> it does, metal does tend to, want to warp or break or something. There's a little bit extra on that too. That might be a tiny, tiny. And just might be how the coin was struck and not actual anything there. It's so minor. Um, yeah, but as you press the, with, with uh, hundreds of pounds of pressure, uh, metal between two metal, two metal dies, to strike up the details here, they will wear out. Metal will kind of flow a little bit like water at those pressures, those high pressures there. And you can, do you see, if you see how the uh, striations here, um, if, if you see this, the striations, that is called metal flow. Uh, you see right there how it kind of flows out. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it kind of floats this way from the pressure of the strike. Try to put some shadow on there so you can see them a little bit better. Anyhow, so yeah, you probably see it more right there. 
All right, well, I'm rambling on. This one is normal sense. So they have, from the pressure, the metal kind of pushes and flows and over the strikes, it moves more and more. That could be a ding, that could be a very minor strike through, kind of looks like it could be a minor strike through, but it's small. Um, there. I want to see something major. I want to find something awesome. Like a huge whole strike through thing dented in, pushed into the coin. That would be awesome. All right. Next one. I'm just kind of looking real quick. There's some more quarter edge rim dings there above the eyes on this coin and looking at these coins all these coins so far would probably grade about 63 to 65 depending on how many dings they have all right we got something here we have a die chip on the C a die chip on the E we got a little bit of some what looks like some doubling on the S and the T now because the Doubling kind of looks like it was pressed out here. Kind of looks like it would be considered machine doubling um, or what's uh, trying to be called, or they're calling ejection doubling now because um, it's kind of like a step down flat surface. I don't see any splits on the corners. Uh, double dice would have splits on the corners there. It just looks like it kind of flattened out some of the lettering there because machine doubling or um, ejection doubling kind of flattens out some of the details and doesn't add to the details all right so so that's an interesting one I'm gonna put it up here it's got those die chips that might be all I end up finding not on this one see the shoulder there how it has those little step like features there again strike doubling or machine doubling or ejection doubling whatever you've heard it called there not seeing anything else going on with the reverse um, let's check the obverse on this one And all those little scratches and stuff you can see that's just um, where other coins have dinged against this called bag marks because it used to happen a lot in bags because the coins would just jiggle around in the bags and uh, hit on each other as they were moved around so that is those little tiny marks and stuff you see I see the W got hit pretty good there. That's a nice little ding on the quarter. And as I'm going back to uh, condition, if these would grade about 63 to 65, I might be able to find one that, that would probably push 66 grade. See that little scratch on her cheek there. Um, the more of those, the lower the grade is I think about halfway through here so let's see I might just put this up and just let it play in the middle of the thing there's some uh, rim dings there again nothing going on with the air there have been some uh, strike through errors some uh, feeder finger strike throughs there on the around the ear Your finger strike throughs, is that what it's called? Um, I'm getting it wrong. Um, filled restricted strike throughs. Filled restricted is the term. Or the feeder fingers. Oh, there's some more rim things right there. Uh, so, filled restricted strike through is where some grease kind of gets pushed around on the with the feeder fingers and then it ends up just piling up 
in the center of the coin or wherever on the die that the Peter fingers push against. So there'll be some strikes, some stripes of grease across the coin, usually in the center or near the center, um, which causes some strike through and some uh, bumps and, and divots into the coin, which do look kind of cool, but uh, would usually happen in the center of the coin around the ear is where they've been found on other women's quarters. So I'm not seeing nothing on that one. And I might be flipping through these a little bit quick. Now I've kind of gotten used to what these are looking like. Uh, probably going a little bit quicker than I was in the beginning. Of course, I might be going a little bit slower than I need to as well. I'm not really lingering on any one spot unless I see something that looks kind of out of the ordinary. I'm just going around the letters. That's a normal sense. Nothing going on there. Check out the picture. Check out the metal. Yep, that one looks fine as well. Normal sense. And it looks like a little bit more of that machine doubling or ejection doubling there on the shoulder. Um, we're, we're down here in these NQs things that kind of look like there might be some extra stuff. That is some incuse machine doubling or incuse ejection doubling. That happens where the coin kind of moves around when the striking pressure is being released. It'll jiggle around a little bit, causing some extra um, areas that are pushed down or pushed into the coin, like there at the shoulder. Um, which is considered strike damage because the coin gets damaged during the strike. Um, but sometimes the uh, doubling that occurs from the strike of the coin, press of the planchet and the dies coming together, does have a very interesting look, even though it is technically damaged to a coin damaged from the dies themselves. And uh, we're trying to, uh, this one has the ring, this was probably the ender. You can see the circle scratches through there. That's the coin roller rolled up there. Let's see. Oh, we got another small die chip there in between the C and the E. Nothing major there. Oh, we got another one damaged in the C and E. And you see the hair there? That right there looks like some more of that machine doubling or ejection doubling. strike damage, you know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. After this quarter, we got uh, 12 more. So this is 13 more quarters to get through here for this roll. And you know, I'm not seeing anything going on. The sense was normal. I uh, haven't seen any doubling on these yet. But this is just one roll. So we'll see how things go the rest of the way. All right. Next coin.
looks like some uh, rim damage there from another coin around the mouth and nose. There's another die chip there, some more of that doubling on the hair there. Maybe a little bit on the shoulder as well. Um, I'm not seeing anything going on here. That is another die chip. And we got another die chip here. a little more of that doubling there on the hair, that machine doubling. Okay, did I already look at the front? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. I didn't see anything anyways. <laughs> All right, nothing going on with the scents. Nothing going on with the name. There's the motto. Right, that's the model, right? E pluribus one. Or is it God retrust the model? Uh, I forget what they're calling off the top of my head at the moment. <laughs> They're saying God retrust, date, ear, and liberty. We're getting there. Just a few more coins to go. So this scope has a metal surface. Well, it's probably a uh, metal alloy surface. Might be aluminum. Might be uh, alloy. This one has the die chip in the key there. I think I already looked at the face. Yeah. Um, so this is metal. So I have a little, if you see, I have this little piece of, um, it is actually a black card stock that I picked up to utilize for a few different purposes, including cutting up pieces to, uh, there's a little bit of foot looks like more machine doubling there on the bottom of the metal. Um, so I'm using a cardstock. I'll just put the coin on the piece of cardstock and just move that around. You see the edge right there. Um, so I'm not sliding the coin around on the metal surface. So I'm not scratching up the coin accidentally. It's more important with the more newer coins or the nicer coins there is something going on with that too there that just might be some damage because there are some scratching there there's some dings there this one does have a lot of scratching and ding on it lots of scratches and dings so there's another deep ding there is that a ding right there um it's potentially a little bit of a strike through it's small hard to tell doesn't look like a scratch because that deep would be a bit more of a uh, metal would be gouged to be able to see the metal kind of scooped and pushed on a ding as you have seen with the other rim dings some more possible machine doubling there on that coin but wait there's nothing on the sense right yep nothing on the sense The sense here has a uh, die chip. This is the one with just the one die chip. Um, not seeing anything else going on. Let's check the obverse. Liberty looks good. Face looks good. Date mint mark look all right. And God we trust looks all right. And is in God we trust the motto, um, motto slogan. Is, I don't know. My mind is not uh, getting the words correctly that I want at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, 
Let's see, nothing going on with the Elmrush on this one. We have a small little die chip on the sense there. Just the one die chip. So we'll put that in our one die chip stack. Uh, this one does not have any die chips there. Checking out some shadows there just to take a good look. Something like a little off maybe, but I think it's just all the lights hitting. All right, let's check the obverse, and uh, we've got three more coins after this. Ooh, see, that's a nasty little scratch there, because you can see how the metal's been moved around a little bit. See those dings right there, how the metal looks like it's been pushed things there. That one has some dings on it. I'm just knocking my piles all over over here. All right, nothing happening with this all verse. No tie chips there. The tie chip in the, in there in the sense, like yeah, you know, this one, that might be a end up being a common issue, a common error with the coin. Looks like there's a tiny little die crack on her shoulder right there. Tiny little die crack. Tiny bit of a die chip forming and the die crack going down her shoulder. I don't know if you can see it there better. That's probably the best view of it right there. That one has a little extra. So I'm going to be checking that area out more. I'm going to just focus in on that area a little bit harder as I look here. Scrutinize it a little bit more, see if there's any other quarters that have that die chip there. All right, last one from this roll. Everything's looking normal so far. And I didn't see the die chip there. You know, let's see nothing on the shoulder. That just might be on some of the ones with die chips because the die has weakened there as in that area. And there's some nasty little things there on the date. Everything looks all right on this coin. All right, let's switch back to the overhead and we'll take a quick look at what we got in that roll. So there's that first roll. These two have what could be potential very, very small strike through an object. Um, we have two of them here with some potential tiny bit of grease that got retained, struck through some grease that was trained, retained. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two dollars worth of, so eight quarters of the single die chip. And then we had two quarters with the two die chips on them. So that's what I found in the first roll. I've got five more rolls to go through. What I'll do is, I'll probably just end this video here. Maybe I'll just add on another video for any other finds I come across in these five. Yeah, so do keep your eyes peeled for that should I come across anything interesting. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.